we are live. Yo. Hi, everybody. What's up? Welcome to the show. What was I talking about? <coughs> uh, extinction. No, before that. Threat level midnight. Nope. I had a pizza pockets. That doesn't matter. Pizza bagels. Yes, the game I was just talking about is called Extinction for the P PlayStation 2. Um, really good game. You're like this n Navy SEAL kind of like special ops person. And you had a buddy back in the war Ugh. that you lost touch with. And then he no. called you up. And he's like, I need your help. And you go to help your buddy. But you go to this like abandoned base in the Arctic. And it's been taken over by these like radioactive monsters. <laughs> And that, that, is, old, that old story. It is like a, it's like a, I think it's like a first person shooter, but it's also kind of a survival kind of horror game. Uh, really good. And the frustrating thing is I have, I got really far in the game, but I kept, you know, saving, 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 uh -huh. saving, but I would like overwrite my save. So you can never go back. And, right. And I saved it at a point where I like barely made it through this one spot. So I have very low health, very limited uh, weapons and then there's like a big invisible monster i have to fight and i i feel like it's impossible no that's 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 why you get these multiple save file people like this guy over here yeah but except we're just using the same save yes file. this game true. though yeah like reloads at checkpoints yes it doesn't matter um the stream we're doing now is that nervous hair is is actually we're going to talk about any other game but the one we're playing <laughs> well why would we talk about this game we're playing it that's what I'm saying. We're going to talk about something else. But for, I need to go. Fart, fight, fart, fight. I need to play that game. You know, it's, it's great. I forgot all about it. Until oh, I, just, I, just now. Theoretically, we could play it at some point. I would love to. It is such a good game. We have the technology. The thing is, I remember <laughs> it being a good game. Uh huh. Who knows what it really is? But I, I honestly do think when I think something's a good game, it's a good game. I know you disagree. I you haven't agree with all my picks. I don't you know, and you don't agree with all my picks. Like the typing of the dead overkill. Yes. I don't think you agreed with that pick either. Yeah, I didn't, but we did try it. <laughs> it was very um, campy. It was very typey. Very typey. That was uh, only on the second game. Second we game we played. Wow. You had to get back for for Vangers. Oh. For man. Vangers. What a what a sophomore slump that was. Are we going up? Are we growing up? Or just going down? Going. Oh no. Oh, catch it. I'm doing some kind of race. I think you have to hit all of the No, I just have to make it through. It's like I have to beat the record. Just beat the record. The record's I'm not gonna now, but So nervous here, what's going on? Anybody else out there? Say hey! How's your how's your Thursday going? How's the week going? Say Geronimo. Say Geronimo. Say watch out for that box. Watch out for that tree. Like I need to be getting all the oh jeez. I am currently slowly inebriated. Um I've had Hey Geronimo Jernmo. Oh, uh, Gern oh I almost made it though. Even with that really bad Why again? I was only two seconds off. I don't know where I was. <clears throat> I've been having a nightmare of doctor's appointments because I've had my now four times yearly outbreak on a skin, not knowing what it's caused, and have been to four doctors in That's a crazy week. Man. Um, it is finally starting to heal, but it is no closer to understanding what's up. I got blood drawn today. I'm going to get a biopsy next week. I have to go to an allergist or a dermatologist when I can get in. Um, it is, I'm on so many steroids, it sucks huge ass. Um, I actually switched doctors because my other doctor, legit, this is what happened. I tried to go to the doctor the day after we went to the beach because I saw it happening. I went to the doctor and the doctor said, <clears throat> like, oh yeah, that's happening. I said, look at my history, I know it works. It's a high steroid dose for a long time. Everything else has failed over the years. Yeah. And she goes, okay, and so I get it, and it's not a long taper. It's just like, uh, it's less than, it's like a week long, which is not enough. And so as soon as I started to taper down off the two days, it started spreading rapidly, aggressively, as it is wont to do. Yeah. Um, tried to call the doctor's office, tried to 
contact the doctor. I got the nurse finally after two days. And I explained my situation. And I was very calm, but I was like, I'm very frustrated because of these reasons. And, you know, this is happening. It's all I can think about. And she goes, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> well, what do you want her to do about it, man? I think I explained what I wanted to happen. Anyway, um, I ended up going to a different doctor at the same place, but I've switched facilities altogether. I, I, that was the end of it. So what's the facility? Uh, Purdue Center for Healthy Living was the one who told me that. Uh, but the doctor I saw there when I got, because <clears throat> I had to see somebody else because he was spreading that morning, he was very good. Dr. Ramirez, very good. Have you gone to like IU Health? I switched to Franciscan because I look for doctors. And that's where I ended up um, finding one that I'm hoping to be my primary. Oh, okay. And when I went there, that's the one that's like, we should do some tests to figure out why this is. Taking steroids all the time is very like uh, hard on the body. You don't want to keep doing that if you don't have to. Um, so hopefully we can figure this the fucking thing out, uh, which is why my wrists look like this. PSA, by the way. P.S. fucking A. So I've been wearing these. They are great because then I can't touch them and they have time to heal and they're gross looking, so um, it's good to cover them up. But can anyone tell me why, if you see someone wearing bandages around their wrists, you should not ask them about them? Uh, Usually when I see people's oh, wrists being yeah, yeah, damaged, yeah. it's because they cut themselves. Do not ask people about it unless they volunteer that information. You keep on impressing me. But then maybe it's just because so, I got low who asked you about it? A guy at Walgreens okay, of all places. He goes, you get some tattoos? I'm like, are you shitting me? Well, I mean, that could be. Yes, but if it's not, it's just not yeah. something you even bring up. Like, oh, no, no, <laughs> I, I tattooed my own wrists. Yeah, yeah, totally. You'd think you work in a place like that. You just don't ask. Hey, what's that shit on your face? Thanks. Can I just buy this? And I say this, that was the most egregious example and not the only example that I have of people asking. Don't do that. It drives me nuts that if I fall in there with that guy, he like jumps out where I can't go. <laughs> I was preg or not. I'm pregnant. <laughs> How is Babby formed? So yeah, it's been um, <clears throat> just a fucking nightmare dealing with that stuff. And Got it. I have a race coming up in two weeks, which I haven't been able to really train for, and I'm kind of nervous about. And I'm hoping that um, Good you know this gets taken care of, uh, so I don't have to keep putting up with it. It's seemingly at random every year. How come uh, you haven't been able to train? Because I'm like this stuff has been so like I can't wear clothing. It wasn't just on my wrists. Oh. Um, it can't was, wear clothing. Work must be awkward. Well, I work from home, Ooh. so yeah, kind of. Sometimes I wasn't wearing a shirt. Yes, I sometimes work shirtless when I have a bad rash. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Pharmacist friend who has stories of people's purposes that he uh, passes with perfect professionalism. That a lot was a of hard heat. sentence to yes. say. I, I think I did it pretty good. Um, you shirk workless. Where you work, that this could be a problem. Shirk workless is different than work shirtless. That is true. Uh, and, oh! that, and that distinction might be the most important. <laughs> See, I made the sound. <laughs> It's a fucking Bronco. Well, how else are you gonna do it, nervous hair? Yeah, you have to take a, you have to strip completely, completely bare ass naked naked before you um, you, you take a, a number two Z. <laughs> Just as God intended. Oops. What am I? An animal? Shitting with my clothes on. Like some kind of caved man. <laughs> I went I want <coughs> the opposite to happen, like a nudist colony has to get completely they clothed gotta, up to poop. before. <laughs> it's pure freedom. That's right. Like a fart in the wind. Ah, I keep... Nar! Ar nar! <laughs>
This is too much Whoa! concentration for me. You got to keep up the convo. Uh, no, it's I'm like... <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. Steroids make my throat super dry. I hate taking steroids. I got to say, I did not enjoy it when I had to do it. No, and I, I don't enjoy it, but it's the only thing that works. I tried the steroid shot. I tried a, sh a small taper. I tried just creams. I, I All these things. The only thing that works is an oral steroid, at least for right now. Um, but... Oh my god. It it makes my joints hurt. It makes me crazy during the day. I'm on a month long one right now and it's gonna be kind of an ass affair. An a bear ass. Uh no, not roid rage, because they're thankfully not um anabolic steroids or corticosteroids. But there has been people who've said that they've kinda of experienced like uh like heightened things. I just get jittery. I, my my heart rate kinda of goes high and I get jittery, which is why I take uh, an anxiety thing, which I have a supply of that wasn't prescribed to me for this time, um, which is what I'm thinking right now to try to like counterbalance that. Out of the train stuff. What train stuff? Train stuff. Oh, like train spotting. Like the movie? Right? Oh, no, no, I know what he meant. I know what he meant. Yeah, I do want to get mad at the train stuff. Um, so uh, there has been a potential strike. It's seemingly oh, averted for, for tomorrow, um, which is good. There's a tentative deal. It's not signed. The, the union members have to vote on it from the various unions of the railway. But all they've been trying to get, uh, uh, mostly, they've been haggling over being able to have sick time Railroad companies made $60 billion in profits last year. That's low. Oh, my God. That, only $60 Probably billion? Probably all the sick days. Yeah, no, I know. Oops. Um, it, again, the, the unions have to sign off on it. So it's one of those things where it's like, even if it's not a deal I think is good, if the majority of union ship votes for it, then like that's the whole point. They get to decide that's what they want. Um, as long as it's their decision and, and nobody else's, but it's it's such a it's such an asinine thing to argue over uh, that sort of little thing because they like have more than enough money. It's not even ah. Labor in this country is fucked, and everybody in this chat, including myself, is a part of that. It fucking sucks. We all deserve to make so much more than we do. I agree, I'm just racing. No, I understand. You gotta get those blue circles. I was just waiting for people to catch up if, if they wanted to say anything about what I was saying. Hard agree, absolutely. Uh. Uh. Oh no! Is this the one you had to like? You got to the last one before, yeah. and then. Well, then you. Well, I don't know if it was the, the last one, but it was like. Oh jeez! Look at you go. Nice. Got it. Nice. I like the French system where they burn down buildings so they don't get their way. I'm saying. I mean, this is. This, if they don't ratify it, it's the closest thing that we have to that, where you actually see, yeah. like, worker flexing power. A break during the break. Um. <laughs> I don't know what that first one is. How do you break during your break? Well, get, get to get, and this is the perfect time. No, get a talking to. Oh, get a talking to. Yeah. I thought she meant like, I'm gonna get a talking oh, it's about this, it. It's this guy. It's this little creep. Um, and all I was saying was like, people have been, like no one's been fired for doing the thing, but people I know have been like, talked to about it. You've been how do I get this little, little creep? 
I don't I don't understand how a break during your break could be Well it's not really a break. It's like a passing period or something? Uh no, prep like, period? like prep time, yeah. And you're supposed to be doing prep work during that? We're time? supposed to be in the building. Oh, so this would be exiting the building. Which we're allowed to do. I mean we can do. It's fine. Like I could stay up any time. I'm like on any work night. <laughs> Like I can go, you know, I can go, I can run home on my prep or whatever, do what I gotta do. We're supposed to sign out now, but it's not like, I don't even think that's a problem because what if I forget, you know what I mean? No, don't want to do this. I don't know how to get it from this little weasel man. Weaselman. Maybe I can't do it yet. They call me 007 work. Zero skills, zero motivation, seven poop breaks. Exactly seven. You get seven poop breaks? You gotta make seven poop breaks. That's the thing about teaching. It's like, it's kind of like prison where I feel uh. like you get into, you get institutionalized and like, you get used to going to the bathroom at specific parts of the day. Yes. You know, like you can't just go to the bathroom whenever you want. I, I mean, have, do, you, you, do you know who Michel Foucault is? No. That's his whole. That was his whole thing. Is uh, French philosopher. Um, his whole thing was schools of prison. Everything's a prison, but specifically schools of prison. Yeah. Um, because of all the things you said, it's it's a behavior that is indicative of not being in a, uh, a free framework and getting used to that idea early. Yeah. Um, it. Uh and, like, the thing is, I could, like, if I had to go to the bathroom, I think, like, legally, I could just leave and go do it. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? But it's frowned upon. I don't even know if it's frowned upon. It's just what a headache for me to come back to who knows what in my classroom. I hope it never gets to the point where you just have to run out of the room like, I gotta go! I mean, I've had to, I've had to go out of the room to, like make copies or you know whatever and it's fine what i'm just trying to leave this place i think it's over by the orb isn't it like that like down ramp yeah i'm trying to find the down ramp it shouldn't time is the worst hero tagline over by what orb go left ah this guy how do i get him Oh, yeah, it's this way. Like that big hanging right there. circle thing. Well, I knew that. I just couldn't find this this spot. Time to go somewhere else, not on the fart bike. Yeah. Had a teacher who had us all put our heads down on our desks and then she <laughs> left. She did not come back. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Say more things about that. <laughs> How do you feel Give instruction. like? Do you feel like when people are telling you to put your head down that they're not going to come back? Hang in there, little ones. Did you hear? Hang in there, little ones. That's what oh, she said as she left. The, this lady. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going. We had a sub for the rest of the year. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We asked you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor the ladies in this to game. village for years. I know. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. I, you know, like the... Rats, they can't find their way back <laughs> underground. Probably living, living her absolute best life, windsurfing. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. <laughs> yeah, lightning mode. Welcome to the Michel you Foucault can. stream. I have Maybe several PowerPoints. Power the door's already Nice locked. try. But I would be willing to part with another power hey, cell. Hey, and, and Maticon. I am so Fair glad enough. that someone else can uh, appreciate Michel Foucault on the stream. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power hey, you cell have the orbs. She had a drawer full of candy and a bottle of whiskey. You know, that bottle that's of whiskey philosophy. is a... Uh, that's the problem right there. I gotta go back to the freaking... 
Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. Uh, the Twitter trending panel today, um, I, I rarely check it. Um, <laughs> and one of them was hashtag Lola Bunny Challenge. People. What's that? People got feelings about that cartoon rabbit. Oh, they, like, why would I watch a cartoon movie if I don't want to have sex with a <laughs> cartoon rabbit anymore? What's the Lola Bunny Challenge? I'm thinking the the just gist of it was uh like what don't bust <laughs> what to like the lola bunny i don't know man internet like, loves that stuff like watch space jam and don't masturbate <laughs> like make it through the entire movie wait all of space jam <laughs> even the part with the monsters even the part with mr jordan <laughs> bill murray William Murray? Look at these idiots. Get, I don't, <laughs> what? Get in your hole. Is that the whole point? You're supposed to get him in the hole? Yeah. <laughs> we have to stand Lola Bunny. Oh, they, like, they were definitely doing some standing. Let me tell you that. Is there a green M&M challenge? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not much of a challenge if you ask me now. <laughs> They really toned down that <laughs> green M&M. I thought this was America. I don't even want to bang the candy anymore. What the fuck? This is the future that... I won't even just say liberals, but that's what they'll say. The future that liberals want. <laughs> People don't last 30 seconds in this game. Space champions. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be Battletoads on my first try. <laughs> of course. No, my, my uncle works in Nintendo. He told me all the secrets <laughs> about Battletoads. Oh, yeah, show me. I can't. I can't show you right now. There's not enough time. I can't do it. Okay, but where's the other little, little rat skull? Get that other mole in that hole. You gotta pay the troll toll. To get that weasel in that hole. To get the, in that weasel hole. What is Kirby's texture? Smooth. <laughs> Soft. Soft. <laughs> like if you blew up a bubble gum, a bubble of bubble gum. You but had that at the ready so fast. <laughs> <laughs> like those velvet stuffed animals. But rubber? I'm thinking, yeah, uh, maybe like a stress ball. Yeah, but but soft, like, but like, like a bag of sand. like luxurious on the it's outside. Like a bag of sand. It's like holding a bag of sand. Just like a bag of sand. Did I get the? Yes. Do you think that Kirby's texture changes as his tune changes? Well, I mean, if the more he stretches out, the tighter he gets. Oh, okay. So he, he does change a little bit. Kirby's so tight. Right? A taut Kirby. A taut <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> a taut Kirby. And I get maybe, you know, if he, like, eats somebody that's p p particularly... Pacific. Sp <laughs> spectacularly spiky. Um, I mean, in that new Kirby game, he he's on things that he can't swallow. So he puts his whole body over a car. Kirby always swallows. No, he can't. It's too big. The Lola Bunny Challenge. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> but that in the new game, he, he like puts his whole body on a car or like a cone, but he can't swallow it because it's just too big. I don't like this conversation. It's what's in the game. <laughs> can I make it? Uh, oh. I don't think I can make it there to this thing. I think I can, but I'm not gonna. But yeah, I think that, I, I like to think that like, if he warms up to you, he's like a big squish ball, or they're like a big squish ball. But like, like if it, it, but it might need to like battle harden itself. Thank you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. You're welcome. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my. These people just have power they cells. They just have power cells. You're like, hey, this bad evil thing is happening, and they're like, yeah, but can you do this task <laughs> for me? I'd love to help, but first I have to get these moles <laughs> in their holes. <laughs> 
Oi, vey! What's a boy to do? By the way, the thing that I was thinking of last week with what Ratchet is, Lombax. He's a clink. No, a Lombax. I don't know. What's a Lombax with you? That's what I'm saying. Oh! Can I make it? Ah! Is this the original steampunk game slash genuine? Uh, this is the original Jack and Daxter um, playing on a PS2. Ermager, Jerk, and Dirkster. So it is real hardware and a real game. The very first one. Oh, great moves, Ken. Oh, great I moves, knew that Ken. Time record would fall. Now here's your power cell. Can I go collect my big He pants? can't afford pants, but he can afford a power cell. <laughs> hey, try to be. Oh! I'll be here all week. Oh! We're talking here. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, somebody is crying. Yeah, it was that. Is that hero? Yeah, uh, some hero. Yeah, more like zero. More like a, more like a cry baby. More like <laughs> yeah. I'm, imagine being able to do this in the air. Just being able to double jump and do that spin. Yeah, having a double jump and beat would be awesome in real life. You trip over a stair and you're like, It is Jordy. It is Jordy Peterstone. Yes. Uh, that man cries at the drop of a hat. Over. No. <laughs> you did it. Oh, you fool. God. Why don't we go through the loading zone again? Jordan Peterstone is <laughs> one of the biggest crybabies about like anything. They're like the the, the Little Mermaid is black. It uh, just uh, it's just they're losing our country. The Little Mermaid should be a man, <laughs> a, a mer white man, <laughs> like a big white man, like Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Like Jesus. I like when people say Jesus. Jesus? Instead of Jesus. Jesus. It's it's just rolling with the G's. The G-Man. I roll with the G-Man. <laughs> you roll with the G-Man? No, I do. You down with G-O-D? Um, yeah, I listen to P-O-D. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when Christian rock fans were hard? Like P.O.D. Hard A.F. I think I might have told this story on the show before, but I don't remember. Um, when I, I went to Catholic school for like nine years growing up, and every occasionally um, they would give us like a, or they'd take us to like a, I don't know what to say, like presentation, like all hands, whatever the fuck you do in the auditorium. Um, and they, they made us get like all of the Catholic schools in the area around. And we went to like a, an auditorium uh, and it was about selling Christian music and their big headliner that year is like did you know that P.O.D. P.O.D. That you've Pain heard, of death that you have heard on TRL The Youth of the Nation themselves Yes They are actually a Christian band and their name stands for Payment on Death Did you know that? How many of these CDs do you want to buy today children? <laughs> ha <laughs> Play some Creed. Uh, Creed was not in there, surprisingly. I don't. I, maybe it was too early for the Creed change because it wasn't always like he went back and forth. So yeah, but he's locked inside his own prison. He his arms might have not have been fully wide open at that point. <laughs> oh jeez, this this area is so annoying. <laughs> That's the most beautiful thing I've ever read. The Little Mermaid should be a gray-skinned monstrosity of spines, teeth, and one complete... So, a, a biblical yeah. angel is what you're saying. Yeah. The Little Mermaid should be... Uh, uh, yeah, its beauty is so... Incomprehensible. Incomprehensible. It's seen as horror. Cannot be... Cannot be observed. Literally can't be comprehended. My mind cannot handle the beauty. Oh my god. Did some good job playing uh, Hop Skin Jumper up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Get! Go on, get! 
So when the green science turns, you can't be in there? Yeah. Somebody somebody was like, hey, this will be a fun city to build. The little mermaid Are mermaids just biblical angels living underwater? Discuss. Well, there's a lot of theories, and it goes way back. Let me bring up my long history of mermaid knowledge. Look at this camera work right here. It's clipping! So helpful. It's right in there! You can see the back of the texture. Two spines. Two spines of a mermaid's tail. Two, two spines challenge. Black mermaids? Yeah, I know. What will they think of next? Hot pipes. hot pipes! It's something that I am vehemently mad about, one. Big mad about. Big mad. Yeah, I saw that tweet. Black mermaids, what's next? Black people? <laughs> I just know that if I'm not mad about some little ticky-tacky thing in the culture, I am going to be... Well, I'd have to talk to my family or something. Did you say ticky-tacky? Yeah. God, we're old. Oh, no! Are we just finding this out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was feeling what? young, but then you said ticky-tacky. <laughs> I'm going gray before everyone's eyes. And you're older than I am. Shut up. <laughs> the people don't need to know all of our secrets. <laughs> I, I, I did not know that this was my sometimes used old Yeah, little phrases. boxes, exactly. The song, little boxes made of ticky tacky. That's not what I was and referencing. No. made out of ticky tacky. <laughs> Clickety clackety, the spoon man's backity. I have a feeling that like, <laughs> or uh, the Red 13 said, what the hell is Tiggy Tacky? I am always just getting like uh, Jenny Baroni vibes when uh, Jack is like grilling her when she said she's 29. Who's Jenny Maroney? Jenna Maroney. Oh, Jenna Maroney. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from uh, 30, 30 Rock. Rock. And he, he's trying to grill her about 29. He's like, favorite, favorite sport. Look at Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on. Favorite sport, favorite time. And then at the end, it's like, favorite, our first movie at the drive-in. And she just looks him dead in the eyes and goes, what's a drive-in? Yeah. That's the vibe I'm getting. What's your favorite drink at the soda fountain? The soda jerk? The phosphorus. What is y'all's favorite senior citizen phrase? Senior citizen phrase. Ticky tacky. <laughs> oh, it's an all-famer. Um, it's an all-famer. <laughs> yeah. An all-famer? I guess I meant Hall of Famer, yeah. All Timer. <laughs> That's my favorite, the one I just made up right now. All, all Famer. I warned you all, I am. I warned you. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not in the right state of mind. I this object. Evening. I don't know. I can't even think of a senior citizen phrase. That's because oh, your brain doesn't work anymore. Guys and gals. Guys and gals. Uh, one of my dad's favorites whenever. Um, uh, I had have a, a girlfriend, a gal pal. Couldn't oh, a gal say, pal. Couldn't say girlfriend. I now pronounce you gal and pal. Had to be gal pal. <laughs> <laughs> I had tying on my onion to my belt, as was the style at the time. <laughs> what? That's a that's Grandpa Simpson's. Oh. Uh, he was talking in his Civil War uniform. To Mr. Burns, <laughs> and we tore an, oh, we tied an onion to our belt, as was the style, as at, was the time. The style at the time. It's a, it's a great one. Taking any singular phrase, the, and then making it plural. The WalMarts, the Googles, the Aldis. Go to Aldis. Uh, Aldis. Yeah, adding an S. It's possessive. Myers. Go to Myers. Oh, let's just hop on over to Myers. The Krogers. We gotta go to the Krogers. Let's go Krogering. <laughs> oh, speaking of Kroger. Wally World. Wally World. My grandfather used to say that all the time. Gotta hit up the Tarjay. Tarjay, that's that's a good one. Ooh, I'm gonna accept that one because well I say it. The Strax, of course. The triple X's. <laughs> what do you normally pick up with the triple X's? Porn. 
When I was little, we made a rare visit to my Minnesota grandma, went to church, and she gave us a tour of her old friend's diseases and surgeries. Uh, and who had a family member die recently. Oh, yeah, that's... that's old uh, people love to tell you who died recently. What aches, what hurts, which I can't really talk too bad about because I just did that at the beginning of the All show. All the time. Um, With the aches and so, the pains. That, yeah. Uh, but yes, that's like, oh, yeah, uh... I, you know, this started flaring up again. I went to go see this. Uh, Jane died. And yeah. Well. But yeah, it, like, absolutely. Senior citizens love to talk about how when they got Facebook, it was the Facebook. Um, com actually, and senior citizens love talking about when they got Facebook. It was only for college things. That's you right. College email. Yeah, college email, and they got they downloaded so much music from Detella and uh, LiveWire, DC Plus DC Plus Plus. Senior citizens love talking about how 2006 was the last time good <laughs> music was made. <laughs> My lumbago. Uh, it's uh, it's. It's so good. <laughs> I did have sciatica problems last year, but I, I got that fixed by doing proper stretches and whatnot. What this? What this? I don't know. It's just like a a protrusion. Oh my god. I'm doing this all out of order. I'm all out of sorts. <laughs> you, like oh. <clears throat> you got into the green pool. God, this this map is really annoying. So annoying. So annoying. We're about to hold on to that Dude, rolling. We're about to hold on to that rolling. That's my favorite senior citizen phrase. <laughs> nice. But why? I feel like Detella and DC Plus Plus was a very for a very specific set of people who went to a very specific university. Yes, uh, but it was so good. Like that, it was so good. It was so, just like. Hey, get any music you've ever wanted. Just drag and drop it. Did Jins do something different with the stream this week? There's practically no chat lag. No, nothing new. Um, I'm wondering if uh, the fact that I'm transmitting this in a different codec, that it might be different. I, I'm streaming this in H.265. No, no, I'm not. No, no, nothing. I haven't done anything. We just must have got a good server this week. Uh, they kind of random, randomly assign you to like uh, location when you sign in. So if you're near a server, you, not me, uh, usually both, but um, if you're close to a data center, it, it, the latency is less. So. Uh, and they do they do prioritize those with more viewers and uh, more followers. So if we picked up a follower, we hit a new rank or something in their internal crap. I want to go then in there. Might, um, Doesn't it look like I should go in there? It does. It looks fun. <laughs> looks like a bunch of fish. Well, it was probably a mistake. Well, it's just it's not doing noise. anything. It's kind of fun. Are those bubbles or fish? Bubbles. Oh, oh, it that's showing why. me. It was just showing me. Do you remember? I'm glad there's not lag now, though. I think it's it's like up to almost you can get like 20 seconds of lag if the distance is far enough uh, between you and the, the servers. Uh. How many precursor orbs we got? 39. Those are not precursor Power orbs. cells. Thank you. Woo! Okay, people got asked what their favorite old timey slang is. What's your favorite new slang? Which, judging by the age demographic here, uh, new is going to be relative to all of us. I don't think anybody here is in the Gen Z category. What the? 
actual amp. <laughs> what the F? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. Oh. Nice. Do you think that that is going to make the p platforms permanent over here now? That one will, I think. Nope. Nope. Still on a timer. Great. 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 Great, great, great. Brrr. I got the power cell there. Did everyone go away? Is everyone gone now? Did Veresi Jane make it so we got kicked off the good servers? <laughs> They're on to us! <laughs> Oh, is this a slide thing? Yeah. Yeah. I love a good slide. Super fun happy slide. Love oh, that. No good slang. No good slang goes on. No cap. No cap's pretty good. <laughs> Throw an ass is my new favorite one. I don't new ish. Think, I, don't, I don't think that's a, a new one. Yeah, it's a new ish. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think the kids say throw an ass. I know sometimes they do. I don't, I don't. Stop trying to make throw ass happen. I'm not making it happen. I get the concept too. I've throw an ass is not common. I, I'm not saying it's common. Sounds like, Disco you're girls. It sounds like you're trying to make throw an ass happen. I'm not making anything happen. It sounds like you're trying to make it happen. I just like it. You just like throwing ass. I like throwing ass and I like saying it. Throwing ass is not sexual, by the way. It's dancing. It's like dancing good. Throwing ass. Mean, it's not sexual, you're doing it wrong. Well, it's, some might argue, like the town for flippers. What did I do? You open the thing? Uh, yes. Still open, and where's the ass? Wait, was this just the- Is it, are you in like a rocket ship? Oh man. I think it's just the way out. Or the Kinda. Way oh, like a Visco girl? Yeah. This is just like, oh, I'm wearing leggings and I have a water bottle. Yeah, it was like a short lived like, yeah. Chugi. Chugi? Yep. What? Chugi? Chugi wow. is is like uh, someone probably around our age who thinks before. they're doing something very I cool but is very cringe. Climb up there and get it. I feel like you're making these up. I'm not, I'm not making it up. Making them up. I'm not. Not new slang, but I think it's fascinating talking to someone implies dating. Yeah. Oh I'm yeah, like someone. another new one is like being real slucy. Slucy. Oh yeah. What's Lucy? It's just, you know, when when you're just really happy. Lucy is very happy? Uh -huh. I was going to say slutty. The same thing. It could be the same thing. I'm making it up. I'm doing what you're doing. I'm making it up. It's not real. I don't know. You are around young people all day. I'm not. And I didn't make up Chugi. <laughs> Jumpy means good now. Try hard. Try hard. Oh, Chuby is a try hard. Try hard. I like uh, uh, not new slang, but I, I've been hearing it outside the fighting game community, like sweaty, like someone being real sweaty over something, which is like try hard. I don't want to go back in there. When something takes a ton of effort, it's like it's real sweaty. Sweaty. Uh, I should go in there though. Oh my God, it's giving. Oh it's giving. yes. It's giving is good. It's giving divorce. Sending me. Yeah, yeah, man. Like this is sending me. It's giving. It's, yeah, that's giving. Ah, that's a huge one. You've been called sweaty by students. <laughs> okay, but were you just sweaty though? Or, but I mean like, 
Uh, the Red 13, when it comes to game playing, you sweaty. It's giving is great. Exactly. Exactly. I knew it was going to be a game. <laughs> I don't know the origins of its giving, but that sounds like a plausible thing. And let, like, I, I, if you know it, then that's probably true. Isn't that how so much of culture like it trickles into whatever like teenage uh, white kids are saying is like it either comes from like gay culture, anyone or, else, or black culture? Literally anyone else. Yeah. Or black gay culture. Just any other cool culture. <laughs> and like when it reaches us, it's dead. It's also dead when it hits hits the the white youths. I think it's dead once it, once like you start seeing it in commercials from corporations. Like Nabisco crackers are on fleek, fam. They're giving Sunday vibes. It's giving vibes. Boggy yeah, Swamp! Amaticon with the save. I know who that is now. I didn't know who that was before. Amaticon? Yeah, I didn't know who, who it was. I do know who it is now. We're going to the Boggy hey, hello. Swamp. Hello, I, I didn't know that it was you. I'm not going to say your name on, on, on the stream. Seems and, like it's Emma. Uh, but but thank you for joining. Wow, you can shoot fireballs when you're powered up with Yellow Eco. I wow. I honestly love to hear it when new things why people think A B B slaying needs for them. I mean, it's it's uh, it can be very interesting. I'll say that. <laughs> A lot of quotes around that. Did we? Oh, I should put this out there, just so everybody gets the opportunity. Um, this Saturday and Sunday, uh, we're doing a all hands canvas for the this place where we live. So if you live here, I'm extending this opportunity. Uh, please contact me and uh, come walk doors with me. Um, it's super easy. You said we like like we as the stream. No, we as in me, yeah. and me and me and somebody else who wants to go, because um, I'll be doing it. Uh, contact me. Uh, you know all my socials and my phone numbers, I'm sure. And uh, come, come knock doors with me. Um, come talk to people; they're great. That sounds terrible. It's not terrible. I don't know. As someone who talks to people constantly, um, it's different than that, though. It's to like create a, a, a world that is better in which we live and not for a job. What's my fave canvassing story? Um, my favorite canvassing story is probably uh, last year I went canvassing um, up uh, by Valley Street a little bit and um, this woman was like, she just wanted to like sit and talk. Um, and we talked for a while and now uh, I see her like all the time and she always waves. And since like I met a new part or new person for the neighborhood and I'm still trying to like push her into doing a little bit more, but like I like meeting someone who I never would have interacted with and now is on my running route and I see her all the time. It's great, you meet like your neighborhood. It's it's a really worthwhile thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
frogs would shut up. Ah! Ugh. I want this. Give it to me. I want this guy. Oh, there's so many good dogs and cats here in that meeting. Um, a lot of them are super friendly. Uh, um, Red 13, I think you'd actually be really good at it. Um, I, I think you're very uh, gregarious with folks. Uh, and people, honestly, the majority of it, people are just not going to answer the door. Like that, you, you end up having like 10 conversations if you're lucky. Uh, the majority of people don't, aren't home or don't answer the door. Uh, I've heard uh, some people's stories about like like getting invited to like things in the neighborhood if they want to, or, or like getting inside information. Uh, it's just like knowing your neighbors more, which is ultimately like the goal of what we're trying to do here. It, it, it's electing somebody, but not not in the off years. And we started this before this election cycle. The camera, the camera. It's. You're never alone. That's what I want to say. Uh, I know nervous here. You're not. You're not around here, but there. Are, I'm sure there will be sometime opportunities for you if you're interested. Uh, we always pair people up. We prepare you, um, and it ends up being like it goes by quick and it's fun, uh, and you feel great afterwards. So selfishly, you also feel good. Like it's sometimes this game it's like impossible to tell how far away something is. My dream, I'm canvassing, I knock on the door. Our hands touch? Why are your hands touching? Don't step into the light! I don't Don't touch the people. No, someone else was knocking at the same time, I think, is the one. We compete, we fall in love. Yeah, like someone else. Is oh, I door. get the scenario now. Oh yes. Here's the scenario. <laughs> Okay, here's the scenario. <laughs> As our good friend Mike would say. <laughs> I thought you were touching the people at the door. I would have to frown upon that one. <laughs> but no. <laughs> I made Veressi Jane into way more of a creep. <laughs> Witch cheek. <laughs> Just a slight moan. <laughs> Human contact. It's been months. This part of the game is such Crash, crash Bandicoot. It's giving Crash Bandicoot. It's give, it is giving Crash Bandicoot. Along those lines, I also like sending. It's sending. Yes. One. I already said that though. Did you see that? And it makes sense because it is the crash people. Yeah. Makers of feel good action adventure. Feel the good. last of us. <laughs> the friendly the friendly caress of an ass cheek. <laughs> Brassy Jane's gonna get taken in day like one. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Dis booty. <laughs> When you're holding a booty, but then you remember that bees are dying globally <laughs> at an alarming rate. <sighs> Those poor bees. Are they even still, though? One time I was canvassing with people around tenants' rights and tenant conditions. And honestly, I love telling good time to tell people, yes, your landlord is as bad as you think, and he will complain to them. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, landlords don't deserve. Um... They're they're awful, and I, I so many people. It's those are like the issues that are so I think gratifying and easy to talk to. Is like, hey, you know how your healthcare fucking is ass, and your landlord wants to suck all your money every time. Um, yeah, like people will instinctually do that, and that will get people talking. And then you'll be like, yeah, maybe if we 
be together collectively, we can make things happen. What say you? Oh, it's it's a racket. Cockroach stucco. Oh my god. Uh, one time, speaking of terrible landlords, uh, we were moving Grunart Malk uh, out of his old apartment to a different apartment when he was living in southern Indiana. And there were so many fucking cockroaches in that place. To be fair, he lived in the old apartment for like a weekend. Oh, I know. He wasn't there he long. He like took his stuff there, saw all the cockroaches, was like, guys, I need a different apartment. There were so many cockroaches. There were tiny, so many Small tiny Small ones. ones. And uh, if I remember correctly, he was having trouble getting his deposit back because he, he wasn't happy with the cockroach motel. Yeah, I don't remember. But we moved him. What did we just unleash? Wow. Only We're freeing this, like, blimp. Yeah, we are. Brum. Yeah, I was just talking, a uh, friend put on like Instagram that they're thinking about trying to take their landlord to court uh, over something small. Um, I, I mean, relatively ah! small, uh, but like not meaning it's insignificant, but it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, I've, I've walked away from more and they inherently have a bias because they have more money than you. They can just go to court and last you out. Uh, you know, for them, it's it's about never having to do that or the threat of that. And they just have that monopolistic power over your housing. What kind of person's over there by the blue? Is there someone over there? Oh my god. Yeah, there's like a... Somewhere in here is like a farmer type guy. You gotta save his food from rats or something. Ugh. Oh, yes. That's what I'm looking for. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, I didn't. oh you're, on a, you're on a bird fellow. That's right. This is way cooler this than... This is the bird that like we helped hatch. Oh, yeah, I remember that. This is so much more cute. Oh yeah, this is total chocobo. Oh, oh no! What a dumb. But you can get those. Bread! I'm unsure of wall lingo and texture lingo. No stucco. No, you meant stucco. Fresco is the painting. Fresno is a city in California. That's true. So is San Jose. It's just those two. That's it. It's a big place for two cities. Oh, oh. Cockroach fresco. Fresca. Uh, it's like just, pasta fresca. Just the, the painting of God, I think, but it's, it's two cockroaches. Touching a little cockroach. <laughs> They're both touching a cockroach. Flut, flut, friend. Now, go back to the trans pad and I'll flut, bring her home. Flut, flut, friend. Flut, flut, friend is now stuck in my brain. What? <laughs> Squeegee out those boxes. Oh, now you get fireballs? I'm trying to pay attention now because I have to play next week and I didn't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Wait, what happened? I bumped into the thorns. Oh. The thorns! Are they in your side? The thorns, that is? So lame. <laughs> Thanks. What? I thought you were responding to the joke I made or the semi joke I made. Ew. Gross. <laughs> God. I didn't know, Matt. <laughs> Stop! That, the, the little half joke I made. Gross! <laughs> so not only can you just do it alone, you don't even need that stupid bird. I've been using these fireballs for so long. Uh, sure you have. Oh, there's nothing over here? Just death? Cool. <laughs> just death. So you have chosen death. Um, I was showing uh, Sarah the picture of, uh, or the video of Mr. Impossible from Venture Brothers. Where it's like, what's more important than your family? Uh, science? <laughs> These are cool fireballs, when did you get them? It's the orange eco. Oh my god! You finally did it. I think we are ready to call it at your next precursor orb. It's just an empty dock. Sometimes, that's what life is. Yeah, Cock and Roach Fresco, are you paying attention? I'm sorry, can you explain this further? It's like a pasta fresca. Yeah, it's like pasta and fresca. It's like my Wednesday nights. But with the cockroaches. It's pop Howdy, friends. Howdy, pasta friends. Pasta fresca beautiful night. Swamp. Beautiful swamp. On these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> oh, boy, he got close to that screen. He, it's it's like it's coming right at you. Judging by the smell, I'd wager you I saw this movie of this train coming. I thought it was coming right out of the picture. What's a bathtub? What's a bathtub? Problems now. Do you get it? Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Farley. Oh no, his pet hip hog Farley. Oh goodness me. Those ornery swamp rats. Oh my god. Help me out, please. Yes. Good. Those rats will be back any time. In a time. Oh, them rats. Oh, them rats. at least one of them snacks. I know, for considering that. Oh, I hate this part because him. this when this came out too. It's like impressive for the PlayStation 2 the amount of they were able to get him, squeeze get him. In. Oh, get him! Uh, so there's like, you don't notice that there's some to, to see way on your in your periphery. Oh, I would never notice that. Get some! I need to get some. Yeah, a little bit. I agree. Apparently there is, oh, are. we had someone pop in the chat last week and tell us like a bunch of famous people have, have voice acted in this game. Uh, he sounds like Chief from like the Fox and the Hound, like, oh, Copper told he's a hunting dog now. Oh. Yeah. Ovalar. Over Ovalar. Arnar. Arnar. Oh, I hate this. This like, I don't know. This is almost as bad as a fishing mini game. Yeah, it's making my head hurt. <laughs> No! I think it's over. No way, I it's didn't not think over. it was over. I didn't think it was it's over. Not over. The music didn't Get stop. Over the R. Over the R. Oh, no. Get out of here. Everybody wants to be oh, a I'm, cat. I, I feels like I've lost. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I would like to not right now. Yeah. You change your mind. You know where the Aristocats is so good. <laughs> yeah. 
Everybody, everybody. Well, I think so. Want to save it? Nah. <laughs> Start where we were before. In the boggy swamp. Then I get to play the rat game. I love it. Well, everybody, thank you for stopping by this week. Appreciate it as always. Yarp. Yarp. And we're going to see everybody next time. On the next time. Over thar. Over thar.